12, 18, 20. Mom and the broken washing machine. Rivka honey in the kitchen. Up on the roof, having forgotten how to wear the accordion. Vagrants camped out in our funky backyard. They turn out to be young travelers. I tell them they need to ask next time. My ex-therapist Kevin and I almost end up in a porno based out of an electronic repair shop. The studio opens into a beautiful park and I realize I'm dreaming just as a long, mysterious stranger comes into view, standing on a chair. Her features are alien-like, small chin, big eyes, and thin lips. I approach her so we can make out, hands massaging delicate muscles, pulling her hips into mine. Then you appear. Not sure if I summon you or you come on your own, but we're so happy to see each other. Your smile is bigger than the sky. We walk a large circle, hand in hand, talking about hair straightening and if it's still considered straight if it's in finger waves. There are butterflies between the lush grass and young trees and I tell you I want to catch some and send them to your waking self to bring you patience as you care for your beautiful dying mother. We ascend a gentle meadow and I manifest a butterfly net but you suggest we use our hands. I catch four on my first try. Small butterflies, the width of my thumb, with wings like powdered sapphire. We release them into the cherry blossoms and lay down together in the grass, skin to unclothed skin. Your face is timeless and forever.